this book, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. I'll like put this up here and hope that you guys can see it. I don't know, can you see it? I feel like you can't, but okay, I'll just hold it to make sure. Whatever. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a review for There Once Were Stars by Melanie McFarlane. I got this book as part of a booktube tour, which is run by Grace over at Loving Dem Books, so I'll leave her link down below. Basically, what happens is that you sign up for whatever tour you want to be a part of, and the publisher will send you the book in exchange for your honest review. There's a whole bunch of options that you can do, like a TBR, a wrap-up, review, etc, etc. And it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend trying to be a host because I love it personally. So I will leave all the links and the information down below about how to be a host and all that jazz. There's also a giveaway for this book if you are interested. It will also be linked down below. Enter the giveaway because free stuff. Real science. I ended up giving this book a 2.5 stars out of 5 on Goodreads. This book follows Natalia Greyes, who has lived with her grandparents for the past 9 years after her parents' death, and she lives in Dome 1618, which was created in order to protect its inhabitants from the radiation outside the dome that has been affecting everybody for four generations. Natalia has followed the order for as long as she's lived until she sees two people outside of the dome and she starts to question everything she thought she knew. The way that I describe this book is it's basically a young adult dystopian with a little bit of like Walking Dead thrown in there for, you know, good measure. I was very excited about this book at the beginning. I was super intrigued about the idea of the dome and I was really interested to see how the plot would develop. I really wanted to know what the order was hiding and what their big secret was. My favorite part of the book was definitely the ending half of it when the infected started to show up and I think the last 20 pages was what really actually had me interested. I think that the world building in the book was very well done and the backstory of how the infected came about was really interesting, but I only gave it a 2.5 stars because the love triangle in this book drove me insane. And the insta-love was extreme in this book. It was like they saw each other and then I was like, oh my god, I love you. And we all know, your girl hate her insta-love. She does not like it whatsoever. It drives me crazy. So that is also a reason I only gave it a 2.5 stars. I was also very frustrated the entire book about how immature and naive Natalia was basically the entire time. She didn't really develop at all. Basically, half the book was just how jealous she was over Evan, who is one of the love interests. And it just got to the point where it annoyed me so much that it took away from the enjoyment of the story. I also didn't like Jack, who was the other love interest. Basically, the way he treated Natalia was disgusting. And I just, everything about him made me angry. As I said, I don't really think any of the characters really had any development throughout the story. And that was kind of a down for me. I was expecting Natalia to become more mature and actually stand up for herself. I thought Jack would not be such a jerk and Evan was just kind of there. He didn't really do anything for me. Overall, I think that if you are into young adult dystopian books, this would be a great book for you. Personally, it didn't sit well with me just because I don't like love triangles and insta-love and that's one of like my biggest no-nos in books. So Personally, was not for me, could be for you. Definitely check it out if you're interested and if you like zombie stuff. Alright guys, so that was my review of There Once Were Stars by Melanie McFarlane. Gave it a 2.5 stars out of 5 on Goodreads. If you guys are interested in the book, there is a giveaway link down below. Totally check it out and I will see you all. In my next video, goodbye. Young dystopian, young dystopian. Mm -hmm.